I'm Dr. Neha Patel. My name is Hal Spunala. My name is Kevin Ryan. My name is Sarah Canning. My name is Stephanie Wright. First, master your craft. Especially in a service industry like mine, if you don't master that service that you're providing, then you kind of miss the mark there. Then use tools to keep yourself organized. You could be the greatest chiropractor, but your office is run, you know, run terribly. So, you know, it's hard to schedule a patient or the patients, you know, can't, nobody ever answers the phone. Those kinds of things are discouraging. So then, you know, really have tight systems in place to make it easy for the patient and keep it nice and organized like a, and running quite smoothly. I think that would be the next best thing. But number one, master your craft. Number one, you want to stay as current as to new laws and anything impacting the business and the industry overall as possible. Number two, you want to think outside the box, right? Uh, so a lot of accounting and finance is extremely straight laced and extremely uh, uniform, right? How can you still find ways uh, within those parameters to offer things, to offer services to people and or a different perspective that may have never been approached, right? I mean, the best advice I can give is to learn learn how to be a marketer, learn how to be a salesman. I mean, with, without that, you're, any business you start, essentially, you've got nothing going for you. Um, a lot of the way we were discovered was just from website, social media, online, you know, focus on that. You know, don't, don't worry so much about print ads and newspapers and all this other fun stuff. Focus on the new age marketing techniques and and that's really probably the biggest thing, especially in, in like the creative fields is we always like to be creative and do all these fun different stuff, but if we don't do the marketing side, we're never gonna get anywhere. I'd say like be passionate, um, stay dedicated to your main goal. So if your main goal is to be computer repair, if your main goal is for, um, for sales in computer world, whatever it is, stay focused and dedicated to that. Um, cause whatever drives you into that business is what you need to hold on to. Um, I stay completely dedicated to my clients. And so I always suggest that because without your clients, you have not, um, um, and surround yourself with like, like-minded people, um, business owners that started their dream and became successful. Um, they always have the best advice from the experiences and they help me continue my success. So that would be my suggestion. The gentleman that had this uh, salon and day spa in Greenwood, Indiana, he and I are pretty close to the same age. And so we both were a little more set in our ways. But what I found was that by me stepping back and listening to him, he had many wonderful things to teach me, even though I've been around the block a few times. And so he was able to give me tips and tricks and wonderful directions so that I could really soar when I stepped out on my own.